to me, editing is what filmmaking is really all about. Because it's a, the one time you get a chance to create something out of material and actually deal directly with an audience. All the other times you're, you're sort of generating material or supplies. It's like uh, making a film is like buying lumber or cutting down trees and making, making wood out of it. Where editing is like actually constructing a house. I mean, you actually can see it, you can see what you're doing and deal with it. Everybody says, you know, well, the script doesn't work, but we'll fix it later. And they said, well, we're shooting this, but it isn't really working, but we'll fix it in the editing. Well, the editing is where it's got to be fixed. If it doesn't work there, the movie doesn't work. So that's, to me, the most exciting part. Well, the trick to a sequence like this, which was the same problem we had in the first film, is that rather than doing special effects that sort of sit there for a long time and are very uh, sort of passive, uh, these battle sequences are created almost totally through the editorial process. And as a result, we're dealing with shots that are only 15 frames, 25 frames, 30 frames long. And in order to understand how fast the movement should be, what the shot should be, uh, what the direction should be, and how it should work together in a montage fashion, uh, on the first film we took stock footage from old uh, documentary footage from World War II, air battles and things, and cut that together. And I cut that together before I even started the special effects. This battle in this film is much more complicated and more specific. It's not just an aerial sort of dogfight. It's a, a very complicated ground battle. And so we've had to shoot little animated storyboards, take the storyboards and animate them very quickly. We call them animatics. They would do three or four a day. I would look at them, change them, they'd redo them, and then we'd get them down to where they're almost right. Then the people on the floor shooting the special effects would have something to go by. They know exactly how long it should be, what it should look like, what the movement should be, and, and, and all that sort of thing. The animatics don't really come into play until the first unit is shot. We have the pilots, we run through, there's like pilots that were shot blue screen, and then uh, uh, animatics, and then footage that was shot in Norway. And what I did is, uh, used the animatics as something to fill in so I could actually cut the whole sequence and finish it. And I cut this really while I was here, while they were still shooting in England. I was here and I cut the snow battle and did all the animatics and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then I knew what the length of everything should be. But it's, it really just gives me a complete set of footage. I need to have all the shots available in order to cut the sequence. And since uh, many of the shots in the sequence won't be done until next you know, a week or two before the film was going to be released, there would be no way of cutting it and doing sound effects and figuring out what had to happen and how the movement works. So uh, this is just a, a sort of an expedient way of, of being able to cut the film before it's shot.